Good evening, prom goers, popular kids, drama nerds, wallflowers, and all you other riffraff. Welcome to Bushwick Book Club's Halloween special. I'm TV's Emmett Montgomery, your happy chaperone. As you can see, Donna and I are all dressed up for the special All Hallows Eve prom. Our costume is sexy. Tonight, we celebrate Stephen King's classic novel, Carrie. It's the spring of 1979, small town, Maine. Carrie White is a high school senior raised by her religious zealot of a mom. She's always been a social outcast, bullied and tormented by her peers. The story begins with Carrie getting her first period in the shower after gym class. All the bullies taunt her, pelting her with tampons. The light bulb overhead bursts. When she tells Mama that she got her period, she's slapped to the ground and forced to pray. Carrie says, I'll make the stones come again if you don't stop, Mama. Mama locks Carrie in the closet for six hours. The bullies get banned from prom. Popular girl Sue Snell wants to make amends and convinces her boyfriend to ask Carrie to prom. When he does, Carrie's like, you messing with me? Because you know I'm going to say yes. At home, Carrie is practicing what she calls flexing. She's becoming a real pro. At supper, Carrie drops the big prom bomb. Mama, I've been asked to prom by Tommy Ross. He's a good guy. Mama chucks her tea at Carrie. Carrie levitates a pie pan and throws it across the room. <laughs> Carrie puts on her prom dress. Mama tells her to burn it. But no one can tell Carrie what to do anymore. At prom, everyone is being nice to her and Tommy. They're elected king and queen. And Carrie begins to feel some happiness. Suddenly, buckets of pig blood soak them from the rafters. A cruel joke. Then the shit hits the fan. Carrie blows it up. The school, the gas station, the town, the cars, the trees, the mailboxes, the TV stores, the everythings. Biggest flex ever. Carrie goes home to kill Mama, but Mama is looking to kill her first and stabs her in the shoulder, the knife embedding to the hilt. Carrie says, ah, hell no, flexes her mind and slowly stops Mama's heart. Later, Carrie collapses in the road, dying from her wounds while having a psychic conversation with Sue Snell, who feels Carrie's death as traveling a long black tunnel at a tremendous speed. <laughs>